calm down cause he just wanna learn son so I teach him son I am the one that teach Call me 1010 wins in 20 um, I moved to Florida last year to stay with my mother. Um, for the first time in my adult life, I got to know my mom as her and my father were divorced when I was just a wee lad. Um, I grew up with my dad who was verbally, mentally, and occasionally physically abusive. Um, when I was released from jail this past January, uh, my mom told me that she didn't want to associate with me anymore because there was just too much drama. Um, this hit me pretty hard, you know, it broke my heart really because uh, I was really just getting to know my mom for the first time in my life. Um, up till this point, I only had memories of my mom when I was like eight or nine years old uh, to hold on to. Um, since her husband, uh, my stepdad Steve, committed suicide just a couple years ago, um, she too has been going through her own uh, emotional turmoil, which I know has been very difficult for her. Um, you know, she found his lifeless body in her living room, and so, um, you know, I just can't imagine that. Um, when, when he died, I rented a car and drove to Florida for the funeral, and um, that was the first time I had even seen my mom in like a decade. Um, staying with my mom for a brief month last year uh, was therapeutic for me um, to an extent that I never would have expected. Uh, really, I had no idea how much I needed my mom for I was emotionally comfortable for the first time in a long time. Um, you see, when I was pretty young, uh, my brother and I uh, caught my mom cheating on my dad. So, okay, that statement leaves a lot to the imagination, and so I guess I should explain. Um, so my mom was a crossing guard very close to the elementary school that I used to attend. Okay, and so at that point, I believe I was in middle school. And a friend of mine who uh, lived very close to her crossing guard post told me that he saw my mom making out with some guy that wasn't my dad at the uh, park right next to her crossing guard post. And so my brother and I didn't really believe her. And so um, we went and spied on her one day at her crossing guard post. And lo and behold, she was in fact with a guy that wasn't my dad. And so um, my brother and I told my dad what was going on. And very quickly, uh, my mother was out of our lives for good. And at that point in time, I was really young. I was just a kid. I think I was like 10, um, something like that. And so... I felt betrayed. I felt as if my mother had cheated on our entire family. Although, you know, my view on that entire thing has changed pretty dramatically now that I'm an adult. Um, so basically, yeah, so my dad is a tranny. Uh, I've told you guys that. I think I've said it one time on a live stream, so probably not everybody knows that, but. Um, for as long as I was alive, my father uh, apparently liked to dress in women's clothing, and now he Welcome has fully, you know, changed his name and, and uh, presents as a female. And so, like, with that in mind, you know, honestly, I can't say that I agree with my mom's uh, decisions, but I also can't say that I blame her for going outside of the home for, you know, emotional fulfillment, I guess you should say. So, you know, when when, uh, when my dad was a young teenager, he was given an, actually an overdose of four-corner window pane acid, which really messed him up from that point forward. I mean, dude is certifiable. Um, you know, so I, I can't relate to my dad, although I kind of understand how that would really mess a person up. Um, frankly, you know, I can't even bring myself to call him. I haven't spoken to my dad in probably 20 years. Um, and I'm not even supposed to be calling him my dad. Um, so.